He'll be in at the T-steps, making sure no flanks come through. That's a B focus from Vitality, but Shox has spotted a couple towards the bar from us. Oh, he's yeah, how is he? Welcome. I thought he lived on for just a moment there. Looking good. Now, right, we will get the headshot. So will Apex. We're seeing more and more. You said we would. Oh, that 5 and 7. He pulls out the HE. It costs him his life. Trade by RPK and the chaos continues. Clearing all his yeah, corners. Any, anything you can do. First shot has to connect, really. Now they know exactly where he is. They can sacrifice one player. The flashbang's great. Twist should be the one to finish things off, which he is. And it will be NIP picking up the tie, and they let them hold on to a couple of MP9s. That's fine. Let him have it. Oh, that is perfect from Shocks. Yeah, the timing not so much there. Have to really swing on that with the flashbang. Apex will pull one back. Plopsky makes things a bit more realistic for them. It's still a four versus three. Lekker needs to get his kill towards the bathroom. So knows exactly where he is, but still oh. doesn't convert. His shock set has been going pretty well on the scrim so far, and I, for one, believe him. Bit of water, bit of sunlight, or UV lamps, yeah, and that will do it. Okay, so let's grow some crests, ladies okay. and gentlemen. <laughs> Year four, we're and he back. Can, he can throw up a little funny face on it as well. It's got oh, funny that's hair. that's true. They that's can have it. funky hair. Yeah, that's the thing. I think I had exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> So towards A they go. It's a pretty underwhelming attempt here, but still a chance. It's five and four. They've got deagles, and this can quickly and rapidly open up. There's Lecro, one of the deadliest deagles in all of CSGO, has found that opening, but that might be it. No Simon one. now, he's available to find a couple of kills, but not going to happen. This is actually looking pretty good. Two versus one, Lecro, though, reloading, surely goes down, and it won't be the cleanest finish, but still, they get the job done. Two, one. I forgot NIP played uh, the percentages. That's what this is, ladies and gentlemen. The slow Counter-Strike being very, very methodical in your default spread across the map. You're kind of just putting out a, a big old comb, right? And you're seeing what you can pull on in. Any information, any aggressive smokes the CTs throw, any posturing of positions, any noise or sound cues. All that information needs to be relayed back to your in-game leader. And you're going to have a bunch of protocols that you've gone over, contingency plans, ways to react. And that's a fantastic opening right there. Nork, the new buy on NIP, takes down Masuta. The respective new boy on the other side of things, and there's Zai. We're finally striking with that cheaper M4. I need to switch to that, I think. Take it for a spin. RPK making the case for the M4A1. Looking good, Apex. Tagging up on towards Twist. Very low HP. Not going to have too much room to maneuver unless Leko gets himself the multi, and he has. Two kills does open up the site. He will not respect that Molotov. He'll go straight through Zaiwu's bullets. Didn't quite connect to the necessary target. They do now, though. Double kill for him. A clutch for Lecro. Ten seconds. He's going to have to plant. And he's not even going to be allowed oh. to get to the bomb. It doesn't matter. Triple kill from Lecro. Flash and a peek. But Zywu is weighing on the other side. And he pulls the trigger. Scallion on back towards the bomb site. Shocks. Looks like he's done enough here. Couple of kills in the back, potentially. Oh. Not the cleanest. But still, that's enough. Managing to get himself one and a half kills. We'll leave them in a four versus three. NIP will continue towards the A side. Smokes down. Bomb to be planted. As the flames just engulf the bomb site here. Look at them. They're so thorough again. Yeah, even then. Even in the chaos. Even with 15 seconds left, Rez gets an uncontested plant. I was wrong. Zywu was right. And this round has gone Vitality's way. That's the conclusion. And they find five. Sad in the water here. Grenade in hand. Flashbang set up. And, well, that's Rez ready and waiting for it. Absolutely obliterates Masuta. And here it comes. They want to flush him out. And he's burning above it. But he does manage to stand his he's ground. He's so much here. He's keeping those CTs busy. And there's four members of his squad miles away. He's even got a frag. Lecro's doing it all here. Molly as well, considering it. Taking his time, he realizes that he's achieved a whole lot here. The CTs, they've invested a lot of resources just to flush him out. Five on three, Zywu, though. Certainly capable of winning these sort of rounds. First shot is not his, but they know he's there. They're going to have to commit towards B. Starting to hit shots now. Nork will go down. Shocks will chime in as well. Three on three. Bomb to be planted. But Zywu not alive now. It's going to be a, quite a convincing finish from NIP, even though Zywu is there ready and waiting. The five on three converted. That's all. 
aggressive from Shark straight towards the fountain. This time, Rez greets him with a smile and a bullet. He has only got nine HP to work with for the rest of the round. That's thanks to Sharks. But numbers do favor NIP, and the flashes indicate that long presence could be taken. They're just so thorough, right? We've seen a lot of pop flash attempts from Vitality, and it's always felt like NIP have had someone anti-flash or just hit a shot. We haven't seen it from their perspective, but it feels like they're ready for these kind of ag aggressive pushes. That one that Apex just tried to orchestrate over towards B. Oh, here's another. There it is. And they're one ready. again. Those won't... He does so much damage. Yeah, she like does dings towards Lecro and Swiss there, but still not enough. Shots being missed by Zywo at this point as well. 7-5. A 4 on 3 for an IP here. Flash is coming in. Can he do anything about this? Apparently not. Struggling. Falling all the way down to bank. Doesn't manage to evade the nade, but that does not stop the push. NIB getting that bomb down is a Molotov as well. The chase but from behind. RPK has struck. And they've only got 19 health between them. Plopsky and Rez. Surely they can't make it work with this little health. One bullet will do. Well, does RPK check the smoke? That's the all important fact here. The jump shot comes in. There's a lot of action right now. RPK comes to focus towards long as well. And now they know the final play for the bathrooms. They pull it off and it will be Vitality bringing back the round out of nowhere. RPK with three kills in total, all down to the flank. This could be quite a contact play. One flash. A single flash is all they use. And now charging into Apex on the Famas. They melt. Masuta does manage to find Rez as well. So a three versus two after a single flash push from the Swedes. Oh, there's still a few more twists and turns yet though. The MP9 and the ore, probably the last two weapons you want in this sort of scenario oh. is going to be the first going down. Zywu left in the two versus one. He's pretty far away as well. Is he hoping they go back? Get towards heaven, but at this stage, how would they even give this one up? What would they have to do? He can smoke the bomb, force a couple of them to face, but he has to drop down first. There's a drop. Smoke on towards the bomb or short. Goes to the latter. Thing is, the player with the rifle here surely takes him down, but it's Zyra we're talking about here. Great shot, but twist. He knows that's his opportunity there to close the round down. Shocks, he's done great work, but I don't think he was expecting that. The timing again, NIP with a spurt of pace catches off the Frenchman. Good nade damage as well. NIP shocked after that one. Yeah, that could be enough, but North will pull one back and Zywu alive and kicking as well. The M4 waits on the side here and he's multiple kills. He might just do it. Oh. The bomb goes down. Still a minute remaining here, but twist of the orb will have nothing to say about that one. And we're going to split it right down the middle here. 8 7. Aggression towards middle. The flash comes through. His teammates behind him and they're not slowing this one down at all. Flashes to come through and Rez to find the first, but he's got players all around him now. Surely goes down. Even the jump, he survives. He's still alive. And Twist finished the job. He started. He's actually got another frag. He's got the bomb, no less. And yes, Vitality managing to close that gap at the end of the first half. But now it seems the gap will grow in our pistol round. Nothing shocks and Zywu can do. The bomb is under the NIP control. And there's still five healthy members of this Swedish force. Oh no, Shox is painting a silhouette around his opponent. Not quite what he was asked to do. Zywu looking to go crazy and he has already found three. <laughs> Nearly four, oh my god. Those uh, are the moments. Those are the moments where just one extra headshot could have been everything. Instead, nine to seven. Went spot a damn thing. He falls back just to do a global contact there. And this looks very good, very promising. But this from Rez is enough to get a kill. Does he fade away? Does he get out? He does, but he loses his teammate Twist and they'll continue their assault towards the A side now. Do they get the bomb down? Apparently so. Great shot from Masuta. That will confirm it. Yeah, that's enough. Let's see if Twist can pass this test. He can. Apex gone down. No flashbang. Bomb, bomb goes down, you can see how loose that is, like, NIP would not Should be running the bomb first, yeah. with themselves. Like, they can still recover the round for sure, but it's not as beautiful as certainly. other approaches. Yeah, and, so, and it's also, you know, that, that choice to just uh, have be so rough around the edges is, is not necessarily one that they've made so actively as much as it is a product of, of losing their leader. Uh, let's not forget, sure. they've got to fill, they're filling in a lot of blanks. That's a naughty little flash That's from Twist. very naughty, isn't it? I like that. So you can go for the wall bang here from Bank if you want to try and deny them. Oh! He has got vision! His team will have to convert now, which he does. Lecro stepping up. It's your oh, the twister. The bomb can go down. Does he do one of the diffusers here? Did he leave he the orb to hold him, right? 
Okay, it's a fake. He pushes in. He's upgraded to the AK and oh, oh. straight through the smoke. Zywu finds the first Masuta to clutch. A premature Molotov does indicate where he's coming from. Spots oh, he him. him straight through the wall. He tags him. Had that been the kill, it could have been the defuse. But Twist has to cut his losses and keep hold of that AWP. So there's the flash, perfectly avoided by Plopsky. He's desperately trying to do something to contribute. He knew his days were numbered. Masuta looking a little AWOL there. Gets caught out. Nork will shut him down. RPK does manage to trade onto Lecro. So we still have a 3v3 and they know there's an AWP close. It's not ideal for Nork. There's no nobody's foolish enough to think that this is where an AWP wants to be. But for now, his team are doing the rest. Rez stepping up, finds RPK, and with 40 seconds remaining and a shot connecting there, it looks like their days are numbered. The bomb won't be planted towards B at least. Shox will have to fight his way out of this one. Looking with the AK now. First kill, can it be his? Apparently not. Back in the day, he might have been fancying his chances of this one. Let's see what he can say about it. 20 seconds remain. Flashbang, not going to be delivered just yet. And we'll see the shots come off, but he's still nowhere near the Oh, He side. knows where all three of them are. It's brutal. Two orbs as well. He'd have to have his nose pressed to the screen to win those duels. We're back into the action. Round number 24. This is the pick of NIP here. And looking that's a little a bit uncomfortable way. in that. Oh, uh, well, that's probably why, because uh, it didn't actually land anywhere near where it was supposed to go. It's actually all deliberate. Threat asked them to miss the monster smoke so that they'd push them short and Nork could get the frag. You don't see it's 5D chess and uh, that fifth dimension unlocked by the mist smoke. I haven't learned chess yet. Can we do boggle instead? <laughs> yeah, we'll do we'll do four dimensional boggle. We'll boggle turn it down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So like four different levels of boggle. Yeah, you do boggle it, on top of each other. What's another sense we can add? Like smell? You have to yeah. smell the letters. <laughs> Scratch and sniff. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are going to head towards B. Yeah, flash to come over. Very simple again. No smokes coming down. Trying to trade out kills, as Chad mentioned. And it will work out if you do get the trades, which they are. Jeez. Three on three now. Lecro. That's a good point. Where is it? A so, flash! Oh, oh God. goodness! <laughs> Give up! You got nothing on time now. What are they doing? They want to shut them down. They do take the orb out of Zaiwu's hands. Some pressure at least. Nobody's on the bomb. The kit was on res. This round is the French, and they will do good damage. But 13 for vitality. Res now with the M4 and RBK strikes first. They know where Rez is at this point. Do they come to keep committing towards the side? Apparently, yes. Zaiwu taken down. Beautiful stuff here from Lecro. Very calm. And they've got themselves a 4 on 2 lead. That's towards B they go. Apex lead the way, and, well, only for so long. The suitor is going to go massive here. I'd love to see it. Not going to be the case, though, and we will pull one back. But this is what they did. This is their vertigo Rotate play style. Pump. This is a lot of their play style. <laughs> Come retake. into the site. <laughs> but you're putting so much pressure on your individuals if you're playing retake all the time here. If Masuda oh, whips on in with his AK, gets a couple of kills, it could be a tough one. Yeah, this is why this one flashbang approach is actually working out so well for the likes of Vitality. Full control, control players on the bomb side. That was easy. We've got the site. And We're going to be playing this. Here as well, but the AK's gone for now, but it's got four into the hands of Zai Wu. We'll see what he can do as Twist is removed. The oh. M4s now. RPK making this one work. And Nork and Rez chime in for a couple themselves. All of a sudden, it's an even kill. We will see the Desert Eagle rattle oh. off towards Graffiti in heaven. Sends Nork to hell. And now Rez will have to drop down. And he has got no kill. He has got a smoke, however. Knows exactly where one is. Still time. If he can get a quick kill now towards Shaw, it could be enough. Yeah, but that's quick kill. It's not been given to him. He has to go hunting him with his back exposed. He was expecting the play. Rez. Has he got time to fake it? Shox gives him the frag and he's, he's on it. Got it I think. Oh, it's so close. I think Rez is balls of ah! steel pay off. This is such a massive round. 45 seconds. Very defensive from NIP once again. The incendiary though. That's available. Zywoo so didn't see it coming, but he's pushed through it anyway. Fires off completely blind, but still lives to tell the tale. Does he get Lecro here? I don't think so. Position's too oh. good for an IP. Twist misses the orb shot. Back towards B they go. The side's open. RPK with a full 180 here. And Nork, does he want to swing away for his teammates? The boost will come through again. Straight away through the smoke. Landing There's to a, RPK. There's a molly here. Yeah, the smoke's down. Plopsky actually quite ahead of the pack on this one. Lecro's making a lot of noise. He wants them looking at him so that his teammate can swing. And that is Plopsky. He's waiting it out as well. They need the flashes to come in from Zywu here. Flashes to go over like now. And then his teammates can get out of these horrible positions they found themselves. There's the flash. There's the swing. That's so good. So good. That's oh. how it should be done. Perfection. Henry called it. Vitality do it. He's going to have to, yeah. I suppose. He's going to have to find the early first blood. He's playing anti-flash. He's getting closed in. That's a tag. Perhaps his teammates will believe him on that. Time will tell. He goes down. The scout will do some damage, but that's all we'll be remembered for. Round 28. 
Rollins with Vitality find map points on their opponent's pick. Rez will do everything in his power to avoid it. He has looked good today, 21 kills. Now challenging Apex is 17. No way towards long. Down to 30. He did get tagged up by that scout. RPK with the bomb though, boys. Where are the flashes? Why are, where are the basic fundamentals? He made that look so easy. My god, he could even find another one here. He knows there's one trying to distract. And so he immediately adjusts his crosshair. Right place, wrong time. Rez's his double deagle frags have enabled them to at least slow down the Vitality 15th, but yeah, feels like a moment. It's, it's still inevitable, I would say, at this point, but still great shots from Rez, absolutely. Bomb will go down. Normal scheduled programming returns as 15 is acquired. Vitality, they're one round away from taking down the ninjas on their map pick. Look at all the angry tees on the other side of this smoke. There's a chance. Zyru's base steps do not confuse the beast. A double kill from Rez. He might even find a third here. Yeah, Masuta's gone down. Their default toilety work. It's got them this far, but it seems that Rez is the spanner in the works. He even gets away, deploys the smoke. He's won this round on his own. Yeah, he knows it as well. Apex. <clears throat> they don't have to challenge him too much here. They've already got a bit of damage towards him now. Looking to close things out, but Apex pulls one back. Now, that could be dangerous against a team like Vitality. Kills. Oh, no. They're maybe overextending here, which is something we haven't really said about NIP so far. But the only player that's been tagged at this point. Three kills to his name, make it four. Looking for the ace of this stage, probably goes for it. But showing a bit of discipline now, wants to win the round, look at the bigger picture, and then gets the ace. That's the best way to do it. Is that a swinging out there, potentially giving the round up, maybe a plant? Ballsy play, trying to nutmeg him as it faded, but calls it clear. They might be expecting another fake here. If Vitality don't move, this is... Oh, wow, good standoffish, 4v4, and then can we start their commitment, Lecro, oh, he's fallen off, enables RPK to take the duel cleanly onto Twist, RPK oh. even crossing back, and now Lecro strikes, does enable Masuta, and Zaiwu does cut off the flank, Lecro's only working with 12 HP, it's down to Nork really to do the heavy lifting. Good Molotov, allows him to reposition, Apex with a strong spot himself, but the Molotov will buy him some time, doesn't need to challenge this at all, they've got a couple of flashes remaining here, this should be it. It looks like they've done enough. Lecro with just a scrap of health and get caught through the wall. And now down to Nork. He does find the first. Unfortunately, not a smoke grenade. Only the flashbangs. And they're both playing the default after plant positions. The flashes are over. And so is the game. 16-14. A full 30 rounds for Vitality and NIP. It goes all the way. The French take the Swedes map pick. And that's going to be coming in right now. He got a flash from the same spot he did. Zywoo's already opened things up oh. at Apex. He doesn't hesitate straight Brutal. out of hut. Zywoo's got himself a double. Looks like what he requested will continue. Just by what degree? Plopsky and Nork still standing for now. One coming from Secret, which is exactly what Shox was watching. But now it's all good. Back was turned of Plopsky. Can be a little intimidating to hit those shots, but he didn't get too flustered. And now just Nork, who's just trying to get away with his life in his Kevlar vest. Anticipating the flank as well. He knows the hunt's coming in one way, shape, or form. Take a, take a look at Shots, who's ran all the way to CT spawn here. He does not want to go down. I, I'm not sure if Nork was more interested in the kills or keeping his armor, but either way, he doesn't get either. So, through into the oh, rafters, it. it's going to work this time, ladies and gentlemen. It is. Someone's there. RPK, he's deploying it. Rez does sit next to it, though, but it's Apex to open things up. It's an absolutely great performance from Nork, but it's not enough. The old boy steps up. RPK with two kills in the round. He is the one who got Rez out of position as well. And now, looking to plant the bombs. I will, will confirm that main is covered. Smoke down and an AWP on the retake here. They won't be even be exploring their options here, I'd imagine. Time will tell. I, I dare say NIP come online here. After the big pause, it's taken the, the wind out of their cell somewhat. There's four of them just crouching by the smoke. They, they're, they're staying true to their guns. I'll give them that much. It's the same tactic as they were running on overpass. It worked out for them. But they are trying to go top ladder. So they will circumvent Plopsky's position. And that, well, I'm not going to say should be the round, but should be the key to at least this bomb site. Oh, there's the first, we did say, the pause, the save the AK-47, it could be enough to find a round here. With 20 seconds remaining, they might have actually broken through. Lecro, though, will be tested. Shoxy with a fantastic shot there. They spotted Plopsky. <gasps> did he get I think they must have done. Shoxy's making sure that he covers the position. Bomb to go down. Four and two now, and Plopsky has been spotted. His little school backpack there. <laughs> NIP, of course, he was a fan. Yeah, 
Mate, do you think they're going to get NIP lunchboxes and stuff? In you Sweden, know? I would, even, I would right. not be surprised. Back in like, the glory days as well, like, yeah. just winning everything. Be a little bit looser yeah. in your approach you've, to certain situations. You've already had so much success now, you can start playing losers. No pressure. Everything's great. Like, seven what rounds in the D side. It's pretty remarkable as it is, and they still have a chance to get a lot more. They're seven zero up, and a 4-4 four and four ensues. A twist, though. He nails these sort of shots, but he goes in between the wickets this time. Molotov towards the window. He's got to open the door and just go over the best here. Will the bomb go down quickly? Apparently so. RPK with one. As soon as low HP doesn't get tanked by the bullets and the bomb is planted. Two of them coming from window room. Apex is in a prime position to take that duel. Misses it. Aware of Lecro now through the smoke. And another CT smoke deployed. This could be the NIP round. They're both so low. But just one man remains. He's gone. And the defuse will come in. NIP finally wipes sweat off their brow as the first of their defense comes in. There it is. The first on the board. Yeah, it's a hard one. It's a hard one to manage when these guys are like secondary orpers in my book. Okay, hold bye bye, the twist. Moly. That's what you get. That's Drive what you by. get. That's you what you get. You hold <laughs> passively towards heaven. Like How dare you? With an orb? <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> Five versus three. Good grief. They've got the low sight. That's uh, that's quite a way to open it up. So <laughs> <That's> round <laughs> over, one kill, just running towards secret, done, it's over. Can we see that one again, please, uh, Magical? No, here we Production go. room, that's insane. Lecro and Rez then. Can we use that strat? Yeah, run outside and... <laughs> yeah, run who's who's, who's our Zywoo, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> who's our Zywoo? You, um, you got it, mate? I think Trace can be. Apex calling the shots. We probably shouldn't, haven't said that enough. It's worth reiterating that uh, for the first time, Apex is a fully fledged in-game leader. We previously Never saw I'd him see the day. experiment with leadership on Mirage in previous teams. We saw him, you know, take a single map when playing with Shocks a while ago. RPK in the meantime has drawn first blood. Rez taking the duel. Is this the commitment? Lecro seems to think so. They're going to go to the vent, I think. Oh, and two of them jump straight down into Plopski. Zywoo will get the trade. A 3v3. Oh, Could the... go vent to top because oh, RPK has kept that position, right? We've seen Na'Vi oh. do this a bunch recently. When they can keep control of the squeaky door event position, they love to do this little switcheroo. Because they rotate such an arduous task with the CT through ramp. But... Thinking about it, they're going ladder. It will be. They're going to take the bomb with the vent, but Lecro, it could be everything. Uh, change of plans. 14 seconds. What do you do? Lecro staring at you. Ah! This is terrifying! What can you do? He's, himself He's out. going through the flames and that's surely the round! <laughs> it is. Five seconds, no planet for Apex. They give it up. Oh. But a great effort, I have to say. It was the great <laughs> call actually making their way towards up there. The orb was towards ramp, so they made a very wise and informed decision there, but a good flank coming from Squeaky Door. Shuts down RPK. Couldn't agree more. And we have got three AK 47s on the CT side here to try and close things out. RPK not slowing down though. Jumps down towards main. Gets the first. That's Nork removed, but he's still has plenty of players here towards up. Popsky, Lecro, Rez, all chiming in here. And looking like for a clean sweep, as I will pull one back at least. Three versus one. He was looking for the pot shot on Twist. Did not connect it. In terms of initial encounters there, yeah, towards main entrance, where we'll find them. For them, you can see that NIP did manage to overcome a lot of that deficit, but the damage was done. And now on the defense, the favored side, the French look to hold them at bay. Masuta tested and falling off of ramp. Yep, back he goes. No damage inflicted, but he will be challenging again. And this is what we're talking about with Susie. He takes a lot of risks and doesn't necessarily reel it in when he has to. And this is looking very good for an IP at this stage. Twist will keep Shoxy outside. He's stuck behind T-Red and Zywoo. Maybe he can dig them out of this hole. It's a lot of damage nice. there. How are they doing this? Oh. This actually might work out. This kill will decide it. Two on two now. How is this suddenly... Oh, they've got a kit oh, there they've as got well. another kill. There's a kit there somewhere. The kit? It's okay. at RBK's feet. Okay, okay, okay. So it can be picked up. He will... So smoke, smoke, as well. smoke as well. Where's the kit? Where's the kit? They can't go for a 10 second defuse in the smoke, can they? RPK is, and well, they can now. Shox gets the shot and Vitality win the pistol. Look how many members of NIP are outside in the heart right now. And Shox just decides to push through. Oh. oh, a whole lot of info. And now a shot from Zywu as well. He's tagged up Plopsky. He can disappear. He doesn't need to continue to contest, but you know what Zywu wants to do. He wants fights. A smoke of his own design and a no scope to nowhere. Suta does catch a glimpse of another member of the NIP squad, and that's the bomb. Nork does manage to get the shot, and Plopsky too. So now with just two members remaining, the French have to go hunting, and they do straight into Nork's scope, but not connecting. Plopsky will have to try and survive here. The MAC-10 delivers on all fronts, and taking a scalp bullet just before he goes down. RPK can't even justify the retake now. USP looks mm. unlikely to find much more than a bit of damage. That's about all it can do. Zywoo, though, 
the Yule. Players around him. They can go back towards upper still here. NIP. Considering their events control as well. They're not sure what's down towards lower. Yeah, I think they'll just take their time here. Rape has locked them oh. in there. Okay. Perhaps some legs to this. This Ooh. actually looks quite good for Vitality, I have to say. Tifon swings open and Zyabu doesn't react. I was hoping Masuta might have had a little bit more of an early warning system. Instead, both fall. And a shotgun from Apex not going to get him too far. Some body shots. It's Rez with a quad kill. Oh, dear. He's going to check it now. And oh, <laughs> what? He's actually got them both. That's insane. They the lined bomb. up and the bomb delivered just like that with one click of his mouse. They have the advantage. I think they might just have the round. That's Him. three. Nork's low. There is a chance. It's on Plopsky. He has got an opportunity now to try and win this duel. Oh, spotted now and fragged by Mizuta. <laughs> he actually steal the round away. That's a heist of a round. What's Plopsky got for us? Is he going to plank walk through these smokes into warehouse? That is the intention of the smoke grenades, as Chad has taught me. And into Shoxy's They're corner. They're going to clear him, surely. I don't know. Blobsky's thinking about it. There's blood on the back wall, though. There, oh, that's a good blood from the spam. Oh, that's oh, Hi. Oh, good shot from Blobsky. See, why is he using the blood? Is maybe a yeah. bait there. Yeah. The suit is going to get up there in the nick of time. Here's your chance, mate. This is the moment. Yeah, show us what you're made of, kid. What you got? No pressure. 30 seconds. Like, oh, don't spam. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Could be in trouble. Oh, it just fall out. But they're back. walking ramp. I like this. It means that he's held at bay because he's scared of them coming ladder, so he can't be inquisitive. It's what is... This is insane. And he walks straight down. Oh, he's gone and through. He and I think he's this round. This is NIP's round. Yeah. There is no way. Nothing suggests they get this, but Zywu does. What? He's got How his knife he out. He's pegging it to the relocation. Now a 3v4 after plan. The numbers favor Vitality. Zywu. He doesn't know exactly where these opponents are, but he's doing a good job of making it rather intimidating. Nork's frags should secure the round. A double from Ramp. And he he will fade away. Aggressive Ramp maneuver. Misuta, but it's most importantly Zaiwu's orb, and there's no way they were expecting that. There's the opener. Yeah, very, very tentative start from NIP. They creep in towards the lobby, and they get punished for it. Like, normally on the start of a tier round, you can get towards Ram before the CTs and fend them off, but this is good stuff from Blobsky. Does pull a kill back, and Apex will be dropped. He had the AK-47, but Zaiwu still connecting shots at this stage, and is there anything else to be said? Shoxy will give them the man advantage oh. here. Zaiwu will continue to maintain it. Three versus one, and Nork has to go lower. No choice. But he's going to get one kill and be detected straight away. So I'm towards Zywu, And it's not quite enough. RPK will find him. My bad. No, no, it's good. I mean, it's a skill you have. <laughs> I'm mocking you now. Shocks, however. He's going to feel a little mocked as they just rush towards top side with Mac 10. What's happening it's here? It's chaos. He's got it. Good nade damage as well. We'll chip away at Nork and Plopsky. Softens them up for the M4s, which there's plenty in play. If anything, though, now Vitality have been tested. They've been put on the ropes like this. 14 at the very top. They're going to tighten things up. They're not going to be as overzealous as they were before. They're going to just make sure they play a more traditional game at this stage. They can feel it slipping away at this point, but they've got another life left. Towards up we go. Lecro already made it to the door. They need to clear this. Van. Apex not doing that. He's not clearing it. It's, it's daydreaming. Doesn't look through. Doesn't consider it. Down he goes. Round over. Have to save. Yeah, this is so tough to get back into the top site here. It's it's not even worth the consideration. We have to keep that in mind right here. He needs to just sit still, not give away any openings right here. Because Jeez. oh, it's okay. They're risky. They'll hold him at bay for now, and Zywa will pull one back. Nor towards the silo for now, and shocks him pushing outside. This could be insane. It's all down to the time. Is he clearing he's clearing silo? Silo. I mean, he's not clearing it. Oh, he's, he's going to get taken oh, down. No! way to potentially lose the map Gets away with so it. they have no one towards lower right now and obviously this is map point so if they plant lower it's pretty much guaranteed to be done it's feeling like it feeling and like the we shotguns can... down at least can oh! there be something to be said here we go just the one not quite enough bomb will go down all the same actually a fake this is buying time for the zai we rotate a flash and an impossible retake for misuta and Zywu. He has to hit the quickest of flicks, and it's not quite going to be materializing. It's not the first nor the second. Now the incendiary does come out. Masuta can't really do too much with this. Zaiwu low. 
And he's gone and lost his teammate. That's the frag they needed. NIP take us to three. Inferno is where we will dis determine the victor of NIP Vitality. Has vision and the first kill. Beautiful start trying to get away with this one now. Oh, he's just standing his ground and oh, PK. What? Glocks. Oh, I think that might have been him as well. Another dink from the Glock. Misuta charging up as well. He wants to finish what was started. And Rez cowering now in mini pit. He is getting the rotation in with Nork with his kit, but they're already accelerating. And it's ooh, spotted and found. Converted nicely. It was RPK that landed that dink. So three headshots as he charged up middle. Well, there it is. It's going to be a four versus two now. Plopsky and Nork certainly capable of winning this round, but it doesn't look good for them. The suitor towards Pit will be safe. The rest using apps as a safe exit. And so everybody gets away. Swing out towards the potential barrel position. No, it doesn't even have to. They walk okay. into his cross at his apex again. Very good with the deagle. He's about to be set up. Yeah, this is a perfect headshot for him. Can't miss. And now that crow's hitting his. It's clean. It's almost perfect. Only RPK left. This could be a full five members still standing second Do you round. see how the team kind of fundamentally breaks down at that point? Your in-game leader goes down. The consequences of their actions there. Vitality concede that round, but also didn't lose a single man for NIP. Straight through the Molotov, they greet them with a smile and a double. And look at the setup from NIP, they got four on this A site. There is nothing these guys can do, and all oh, clean as you like, 2-1. Goes down successfully, they've Molotov out trashing. You see a, a, a lot more theory coming to the game now. More set pieces on the smokes and flashbangs, and they're actually giving them some space to work with. Taking down Nork, it's looking very good now for Vitality. Where's the bomb though? It's loose in middle without a player of no one sitting near it. it. Okay. That's an interesting state of affairs. The frags are coming in. Oh, they can find the bomb here, by the way. Okay, that's Molotov, my save the day. Shoxy knows he needs to go get that bomb. Phew wee. I mean, goodness, if Vitality were to lose a round like that because of a decision like that, a mistake like that, to be more specific, I don't know if they'd have even had a chance to, to, to get their heads clear uh, and to come forward to come back here. But they do, and round two is on the board. Nork jiggling for the initial smoke grenade. Oh, it's no, so they just go again. Scrappy. I it's just that. one pop flash, and then they... Charge. That was a team flash. That was a team flash. There's no assist on that triple kill from Plopsky. <laughs> the French have flashed themselves and walked in. Hey, bro, you want three kills? Take this. Oh, no. Well, there's still a chance they can win it, but maybe not so much anymore. Rez will take down Zyra with a well-placed grenade. The utility usage has been impeccable so far. We'll all see Shoxy, though. Known for his clutches maybe a couple of years ago. This one doesn't seem possible, but it all starts here. Gets a shadow. First bit of information. Good shot. There's actually a good shot. That flashbang could do enough here. I think he might Looking do this. good. Shoxy with 29 health. He's got a 1v2, but the bomb's half gone. Rez could go next, and instead oh. stands his ground. Twisted a few. Six to two. Zaiwu trying to take matters into his own hands with this some is, aggressive orbing. That thing. is the Zaiwu. You rushed banana. See, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> Normally gets an ace off it, but this time not so much. He gets the first kill, <laughs> but answered back by Nork. The chaos ensues once again. It's been checked. And he's been spotted. He's fired off a warning shot. Smoke towards construction. That will have to be present. Oh, no. no! Knife out for Lecro. They're going to turn tail. They know the A site is wide open and shocks. He's going to be the first on the scene. There is nobody home. He's even got his knife out. He knows. Flashbang to be delivered by Popsky, though. Is it enough? Flashbang is decent, but I don't think the incendiary will do a whole lot of fan damage. But Misuta feeling the burn somewhat. Big kill for Popsky here. Monumental as he finds the bomb. And it's a five on two. Zywo and Shocks left for 20 seconds. He did that all. His flashbang was the way to the first. RPK was trying to clear the site, but the round is far from over. Zywo, a two versus five. Him and Shoxy. And I have a feeling that both of them are going to be finding some frags. Two v three now. Zywo hunting for another, but Nork very quick on the trigger. They can smoke the bomb here and just defuse. They know he's got an orb remaining. Now they can smoke banana as well. That would be pretty idyllic. Oh, he's going to hit this one. Not quite. Twist will get him. That was a hype moment there. If he gets a nose scope there, takes down the diffuser, that could have been sick. Twist was 360-ing out of the smoke. Yeah. When, when we're looking at that scenario, they could have thrown that B fake, right? And then just froze. Held banana control, held halls control, but instead they tried to find kills. But I see what you're saying. Yeah. Th that is a little old school at this point. Twist has caught one. Misuta into the side. This is looking like the most promising round they've had in some time. Double kill. Presence on short does force him to cancel the plant. And Rez no. has got two. He's at least still alive. I can't quite believe he's gotten away with that. This was looking like Vitality's best chance in some time.
Flashbang towards the quad side. Masuta will set up Zywu to get himself perched in the corner. Flames beneath him, but he's full of fire himself. Hits the headshot towards Reds. Two on two now. CT's coming in. This is where the kills have to come in very quickly as a bomb. Well more than halfway gone now. Zywu takes down the penultimate player. That should be it. Nor could be dropped as well. They'll get the fourth on the board, but Vitality had to work for that one. Wow. Was that... Wait, what? That was Apex Orping. Apex just lost the duel. Body shots from the M4. Plopsky wins it. I guess he had the best spawn, went for the opening kill. Doesn't seem to be the solution or the remedy to their problems right now. If Nor gets a smoke down now, that would be ideal, but they have been like to push these. And, they, and again, they're doing it once more. Bomb goes down, Nor combo two, nails it. Final kill will be hit as well. Shoxy, something else to say. Here we join by Plopsky on Scary Man. Makes his presence known here. That's going to be Zywu. The Reds with the first shot. Does he want to duel him? Good flashbang. And that's a great shot. Wow. Yeah, let's just say this. If Vitality win the pistol and convert, th this one probably has overtime written all over it. Just the way that these matches yep. seem to play out at <laughs> I the tend high to agree. level. But there are two smokes now towards the coffins and CD spawn area. Zywu will block the first smoke to allow him to jump up on the coffins here. Got to hit these oh. Apex. He's had a... That's not good enough, I'm afraid. Oh. It's just not okay. He's in trouble. That's a shot from Zywu, though, keeping them competitive. Lecro does find Apex. In fact, he's found more than that. Banana no longer a threat. Two players for the retake they for don't... Vitality. The bomb's not even down yet. They don't have to scramble and rush the bomb down. They've got a three-on-two scenario. Good positions as well. No one needs to be challenging for a kill. Bomb will be planted in Zywu. Oh, great position from Nork. <laughs> he is protected. You can see it was down to a millisecond there. Twist didn't feel safe about it, but now a three-on-one ensues, and Shoxy has got the defuse kit, but he needs three kills as well. First will not be his. At least, oh, at least at the middle area. He's going to have to go towards the ruins now. CD spawn has been blocked off, and uh, got to go for it, but not really much to get excited about. Look how little they give him. He knows where they are, but that's nothing. That's only half of the battle. No kit. Oh, in fact, sorry, I tell a lie. He has it, but no chance to use it. Nice work. Nork and Lycro double kills each into the pistol. Lying in wait. So it is a bit of a fake. We seem actually baiting all this utility. It's forced a rotation with Zywu as well. They make their way towards the A side. RPK needs to deliver. Doesn't nail the first shot. The second, not much better. And Shoxi here, he'll get one kill. Remember, Zywu already rotated. We smoked off now. He's got the AWP looking towards middle, but they're already up, my friends. Bombs go down. They're already in a full spot as well to recover and defuse. I think they might just be saving. They're allowing series point to go. Yeah, a terrible place for an in-game leader like, to fall guys, into. Guys, don't give me anything here. There's no information. Now he's going back to me. Look at it. If you just watched Apex POV, he's just been going back and yeah. forth in CT spot. No, no, no. Knife <laughs> out towards A. The bomb's at T ramp still. NIP have no intentions of committing anywhere. Oh, God, I love that. It's fun. It's fun to watch when you've got Chad who's lived it. Oh, it's such a horrible feeling. Masuta, however, is going to get tested with two players. Make it just two more actually Shox has caught one Apex under pressure 30 seconds and now Nork's RPK got up. what is going on here Nork's fully out on the A site so RPK knows they're coming from top of middle but if he misses this shot which there's a good chance it could do well, they're going to apartments then they've actually done enough they're here. playing the percentages a little better than okay, that okay so they can get the bomb down here Shox just realizes we've got to step up here we've got to run into the crosshairs of Twist who gets two they're just feeding him now and this could be the end oh, what are they doing wow. oh. pack it up you pack it pack in. it up Pack it up. All right, guys, I'm getting the tools. Yep. And that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. 16-4, a fantastic performance from NIP there.